if you want to rock SAT math, you really have to have a good understanding of all the different exponent rules. So, let's do a rapid run through of every single exponent rule. You know the basics. An exponent means a number times itself this many times. So for instance, x squared is x times itself two times. x to the third is x times itself three times. That much I'm sure you already knew. It's pretty simple. Now things get tough when we get into the kind of wackier versions. Now, first, a big rule. x to the one is always just x. It's always itself. Any number to the one is itself. That's just how it is. Next up, x to the zero does not equal zero. It equals one. Any number to the zero is one. Five billion to the zero is one. And one to the zero is one. Zero to the zero is one. I don't even know why this is, to be honest. I'll admit it, but it's just the case. So you need to remember this. It's extremely important. Next up, we get into negative exponents. Negative exponents are kind of weird. Let's say you have x to the negative two. What this does is, it takes the reciprocal of x to the 2. So the negative basically flips it over. So x to the negative 2 is 1 over x squared. This works for everything. So x to the negative 9 is just 1 over x to the 9. And uh, x to the negative 1 is 1 over x to the 1, or just 1 over x. This is always the case. Just remember that the negative equals reciprocal. And then everything just stays normal. The one and the one stay, but it's flipped. So next up comes a little bit of a weirder situation, the to the fraction exponents. All right, if you have x to the half, it always equals the square root of x. If you have x to the third, it equals the third root of x. Now these are pretty rare, but they do come up and you need to know them. So basically, when you look at these, remember that square root is really second root. The 2 is just implied here, right? So whatever the denominator is, that's what goes on the outside. Now when they want to get really tricky, then they'll do something like this. x to the 2 thirds equals, well remember, the denominator is always the root. So it's third root. And then the numerator here, the 2, is what you take the x to inside. So x to the 2 thirds is the third root of x squared. To show you a more illustrative example, x to the 7 40 thirds is the 43rd root of x to the 7th. This is just always how it works. Now, sometimes they'll get really fancy with you. Sometimes they'll do things like this. What is x to the negative 1 half? Well, in this case, all you're doing is combining principles. Remember, the negative flips, so it equals 1 over. And then, x to the half is just root x. Or, for an unbelievably complicated one, we could do something like uh, x to the negative 5 ninths, which, once again, is just flipped because of the negative, 1 over, and then everything becomes positive. And then, denominator here is 9, so it's ninth root. And then numerator is what you take x to, x to the fifth. This is how it always works. If you remember these rules, then you're going to be money. So get these memorized, write them down, and you'll always be able to answer these problems. If you can't use these rules, you're guaranteeing yourself a couple lost points on the SAT, and there's no point. Cheers.